Aquarius. It's your girl Spitch is saying. So look, I just did a reading for y'all. Baby, it was too much. It was called Strictly Sexual. It was just too much. Too much for YouTube, okay? So we're going to do another reading. Hopefully, and it just did not, it felt as if that was an external energy dealing with the karmic energy. And then that person was trying to make their way back to you. That's what it felt like, okay? So anyway, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in. Allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective of Aquarius. <laughs> I'm so used to saying collective, y'all. Spirit, my collective of Aquariuses. Have to set my intentions. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me as I open myself up to channel the energy. All right. You guys can have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. This could be past, current, or future energy. Because y'all know energy is uh, fluid. Only take what resonates. So let's see what's crying in the reading. Okay, Spirit. It's crying the reading for my Aquarius. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Much, much better than the last reading. Okay. Bottom of the deck. There is some grief. Okay. I understand that losing something is the, excuse me, the opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what's, what's going on here. Oh, Treasure Island. This already feels like the opposite end of your first reading that I've done. Okay. But let's see how. All right. So you have Libra with this Justice and Ace of Cups. All right. So this is basically like a feminine energy. Ace of Cups here. And then Treasure Island and then Justice. And then the bottom of the deck is... Chaos and conflict. So, yes, that's exactly what this is. Okay. Your person or you, take what resonates, is they chose another energy for whatever reason. Okay. It's going to be different for all of you. But this person chose um, another energy, chose to invest in that. It was really quick. This person was manipulated. They didn't have, they didn't take the time to think about what they had in front of them. Hence the whole grief, right? I understand that losing something is the opportunity to appreciate it. This person didn't appreciate what they had in front of them, which was you, um, Aquarius. And so um, now this person wants to come back. Now that they they see you're the you're their treasure island, all right. And this person wants to come in and give you justice. They want to come in and be fair, yeah. They're fucking completely in love with you, with the uh, King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. But with the uh, Two of Pentacles and Two of Swords, damn, Nine of Swords. This person is like, how do I make this right? What do I do? I know that I need, oh, whatever this person is going through, it's so much. They're like, I know I got to go ahead and make this right. I have to. Spirit is landing heavy on their ass. Someone's not getting no fucking sleep. So you best believe that they're watching you, again, viewing you as the blessing, as their, their treasure island, okay? But I would be honest with you, they're still holding on to a very manipulative energy. They haven't moved forward. They want to. They want to move forward towards you. They don't know how. Uh, this person is viewing you as their partner, king and queen of cups, right? This could even be twin flame situation. Like I said, your first reading, some your person was dealing with the karmic energy, and that is this five of sports energy. But, this, but they're still holding on to that. They're still holding on to that. Your person does have a lot of pride and ego. But more so here, it's like, um, will I get rejected? And I don't want to look like I was wrong. But they was wrong. They know they was wrong. This is who they was dealing with. <laughs> a very, very toxic energy some of them gotten pregnant by this person okay here you are Aquarius Queen of Swords yeah they didn't see you uh-uh they didn't even take your damn cup child they didn't take your cup but since then you have done a glow up yep some of you have gotten into your spiritual calling with the eight of pentacles here 
having like a brand new beginning in life with the Ace of Wands. And now this person sitting here looking in grief like, damn, that's my treasure island. That's my Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, you know, and I just didn't, I didn't appreciate what I had. I didn't even see what I had. This person didn't even recognize, but they, they was, they didn't even look at the fucking cup. They did not take the time to look at the cup. And so now with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords, it's like I want to stand up for myself. I want to stand up against this karmic, but it's heavy because secretly with the moon here, I don't want, um, how do you say it? This is someone who don't want to hear I told you so. Hmm. Because um, Aquarius, I feel like you're very intuitive. And with the high priestess, I feel like you already knew where the fuck they was going. That shit wasn't going nowhere. With the world here, you knew it wasn't going nowhere. You possibly knew that this person was only there for your person's stability with the King of Pentacles. But they didn't want to be with them for no uh, for no love. All right, Hence, that's why all the love is with you. Ace of Cup, King of Cup, Queen of Cup. All of the fucking love is with you. Okay, and like I said, since this person has walked towards something else, they ended up being heavy burdens, ten of wands, toxic as fuck, with the uh, devil card, codependent, manipulative, all of that shit. You've done an actual glow up, and some of you guys are in your spiritual calling. Okay, you know what you're here to do. You know your purpose. And this person's like, how did I, how did I fuck that up? Why didn't I see it? What can I do now? Um, and so they have not dropped it. Like I said, they're still holding on. To that manipulative energy. Mm, mm, mm. They want to. They want to move towards you. To confuse. And it's just got a lot to do with their pride and ego. This person doesn't. This is someone. If you text them. They read the text. But they won't respond. Because it's like. <laughs> what the fuck do I say? I don't want to hear that I told you so. Whoever this is. Is very, very fucking stubborn. Yeah, that's why I'm seeing this King of Pentacles. They're stubborn, but you best believe that they regret it fully. Grief and regret. Here, see, grief. They regret what the fuck they done, okay? But this person's so damn stubborn. They can't get out their own way to choose to move forward, okay? So right now, they're stuck sitting in all that karma. This person's getting karma in that connection right now as we speak. And instead of them letting it go, they'd rather sit there and deal with the fucking karma than to have to hear someone say, I told you so. Like, this person stuck in their ways. They're stuck in their ways, and it's just period. Okay? Could um could be a Leo. But this person's wanting to take action towards you. King and Queen of Cups here. Two of Cups energy. You guys are soulmates. And they want to. Trust me. They want to take action towards you. Too much pride. Too much pride. They know you're their treasure island. They want to bring you justice. They want to come towards you with the chariot here. So, baby, Ace of Cups again, so I hear twice. Losing something is the opportunity to appreciate it. Let's get some of these messages now. Messages of love. Let's see what's going on. Where he is. Mm, abundance. You've done the work. Remember I said you had a glow up? You've done the work. So you're in a lot of abundance. It's just period. If you're not in it, you're stepping in it. As soon as you get into your spiritual calling, you're going to be stepping in this abundance. But I feel like whoever I'm reading for, you're already in it. And this person's just watching you glow the fuck up. It's like you, Spirit gave you your justice and put you up on this mountaintop and people can see you everybody can see you and this person stuck dealing with a very manipulative energy that just drains them just drains the fuck out of them mm. what else spirit true love they fucked up their true love they fucked it up that's why the ace of cups is out here twice aquarius this person fucked up their true love. Yeah, because they were not un they were unavailable. The person is unavailable to give you all that you deserve. Yeah. They wanted to keep shit strictly sexual. Remember, this is the read the card that I said came out in your first reading. They wanted to keep it strictly sexual with you. 
they wouldn't got with another energy, okay, um, that kept it strictly sexual with them, and they were trying to invest in that energy. Whatever was done to you, it got done to this person. Like I said, they're still sitting in that karma because they got 10-10. They got too much pride to come up out of it. They know that they fucked up. It's like as this person's tower is crumbling, you're sitting in this abundance. And they, they just have to carry the burden of knowing that you were their true love, their treasure island, their ace of cups. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Wow. So maybe Spirit just wanted to, I don't know, maybe you guys have been questioning, you know, does this person know who I am? Do they care? Or did anything happen to them? They're sitting in their karma right now with that person. Okay? Now, you guys know this is just energy. So um, Aquarius, if this is not you going through this, then Aquarius, and Aquarius could have done this to someone. I was picking up Leo and Aquarius in the last reading. So, just take this where it resonates, but someone definitely realizes just who in the fuck is who and what to done. And the ego. Like I said, this is someone, if you text them right now, they get your messages, they're not going to respond because they don't know what to say. They're trying to, like, <laughs> they're trying to act as if it doesn't matter. That's bullshit. Y'all know Tarot don't lie. You saw the heaviness. You see how this person's viewing you. Baby. True fucking love. True love. So, Spirit says abundance is coming in for you, Aquarius. You know? Look, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups again. You hear me? Ace of Cups, Two of Cups again. King and Queen of Cup with the damn Ten of Cups. It's like, with the damn Six of Wands. As soon as this person gets in this magician energy and, and come up out of this King of, of Pentacles, come up out this stubbornness, this is what they can have with you. They can bring this Ace of Cups to this Two of Cups. It's all on them. It's all on what they want to do, child. I'm for real. So, Spirit, let me see something. What's coming in? A tower. A fucking tower. Yep, it's going to force their ass to walk away. Oh. Cause yeah, and come in here and apologize, and that there will be a reconciliation. Because this person, remember, I said they still holding on to that toxic, manipulative energy because of the pride. And so I'm asking spirit, well, what's gonna happen? This tower is gonna, some just gonna come tumbling the fuck down. And I just got through saying, as this person's tower is falling, you're sitting in abundance. So that tower is gonna come to free them to walk away from the toxic energy. And come towards you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and apologize and have a reconciliation here. That's what I see. Let me look at the energy that they're dealing with. Because I feel like your person, maybe they want to leave, but that other energy doesn't want to let them go. That's what I was getting in the last reading. Yeah, they're dealing with someone who's spoiled. The person that they was dealing with, they didn't want to work. They didn't want to cook. They didn't want to clean. They just wanted to strictly get this person some sex and wanted them to pay all the bills and do everything. And then they wanted them to marry him. But they didn't love your person. Mm -mm. And your person was getting played. Manipulated. Yeah. They tried to keep it sexual with you, Aquarius. And you really had feelings for this person. Wanted to build with this person. They just wanted to keep it sexual. They went to another energy and wanted to build with them, and that karma just kept it sexual. It's like, I don't, I don't, all they gave them was sexual. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all already know this shit. You like, Sage, we already know the tea, baby. We already know what the hell going on. And whatever he did go do, that shit falling apart. Why? Because he got what a uh, copycat in the energy. Copycat, sorry. Copycat that was toxic as fuck. And so that's what it is. That person's envious of your energy and didn't want to let them go. What's behind this falling apart? Page of them uh, swords, investigating. This energy is also doing drugs, okay? And your person's steady putting on a damn show, child. 
Instead of putting on a show, trying to make it seem like ain't nothing going on. Yes, and the fuck it is. This person wants to ask you out on a date. As we see here, they want to reconcile. But that other energy that they're dealing with don't want to let him go. She's very envious of you because she's a copycat. You are the real deal. And they old fake phony motherfucker who's toxic as hell. Who also has... So your person don't want you to know, child. Not only did they get with someone who was a karmic, who was a copycat, who was toxic, but that person also has a heavy drug addiction. And so your person is just... People could be gossiping about this energy with the page of swords here. They could be gossiping about your person because your person's whole facade is falling the fuck apart as they still trying to keep up a front, keep up appearances. This shit's falling apart. And some of y'all sitting back like, mm-hmm, I already know, Sage. Baby, this man need to give him something to do. Man or woman, take it how it resonate. Okay? Wow. Mm, mm, mm. This is the energy of I'm going to get you. This is a plotting energy. Oh, motherfucker, you think you finna leave me? You're not finna leave me. Before you leave me, I had your ass locked up. That's the energy I be getting off of that. Before you leave me, I will have your ass arrested. Mm. What else, spirit? We need to see with this karmic energy. Yeah, your person had an actual crush on them. And all they was giving your person was sex. And so your person was thinking the reason that this karma didn't want to let go is because they was in love with him. No, this karma don't want to let go because they want the pinnacles. They want the um, stability, the money, the resources, the time, the energy. But they do not love your person. They do not care about your person like that. And this, your person sees it. Right now, they're just putting on a show. They know this energy. It's all about sex. That's it. Strictly sexual. That's what the card said. And I put the card back. Yeah, uh, strictly sexual. That's it. Sex shop. That's all that energy was. That toxic energy. That's all it was for your person. And your person literally had a crush on them. Tried to. This is like two of cups energy. Tried to build a life with them, but the real two of cups was with you. So he gonna take that good loving and good energy and go give it to the damn karmic when he should have been giving it to you. So now he wanna come in and give you some justice with the um, to be fair. Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. Like, baby. Okay. So, anyway. Yeah, that was unavailable to you. They were too busy trying to prove themselves to a fucking karmic. Mm. That's what I get for y'all. People gossip. It's the second time I saw the Page of Swords. Third time I saw there is a lot of people gossiping about. You're going to hear about this. Some, I mean, most of y'all already know. We just saw that card. Most of y'all already know what's going on with this person. But y'all going to hear that shit. There's going to be some friends and family. It's going to find its way to you. Uh, truth always has, has a way to come to the light. Um, just this way it's going to be because motherfuckers is gossiping about it. Because your person really got played. People are going to be looking at that person like they stay foolish. They left an energy like you to get with somebody who completely manipulated them. The grief is real, y'all. The grief and sadness is real. And other people, it's not even anything that you're doing. Other people are telling this person how foolish they was for what you done. A lot of people telling him or her that shit. I like, dude, that was stupid as fuck. Huh? That was some dumb ass shit. To, to choose a karmic lover with the snake over something real. Baby, you ain't got to say nothing to them. People's is telling this person that. They know it. Y'all saw that ten of wands. The guilt, the, the regret, the sadness. That shit is heavy. It's real. Yeah, chaos and conflict. They let a karmic energy come in between them. So, that's something that they got to work out on their own. I feel like Spirit is telling you guys, just keep doing what you're doing. You've learned the lessons. That's why you're in this abundance you know what you're here to do. You wish a bitch would. There's nothing for you to do with this. This person has to learn the lessons. This person has to come and make it right. Even if y'all don't even want to be with this person, they still have to come in and make that shit right. Balance the scales. That's Listen, one thing for sure and two things for certain. The scales got to be balanced. And that's period. You hear me? Whatever you put into the universe, that's what's going to come back tenfold. The scales got to be balanced. And I'm telling y'all, 
the same way you was trying to put into this person, prove to this person that you wanted them, that's exactly what they was doing to a karmic energy. They didn't give no fucks about them. Only wanted them for what they could do for them. Only wanted what they could do for them. This karmic energy was selfish as a fuck. And some of them have really tried to get pregnant by this person to keep your person stuck. Yeah. And with this drug habit, that shit ain't no good. It keeps. There's a lot of drama surrounding this drug habit that this other energy has. I might upload that first reading because that shit was deep with their drugs and shit. Yeah. But now this person wants justice again. Yeah. But what did I tell you? They stand stuck in a situation because they want to save face. But that shit's going to come. As soon as Spirit said in the last reading, just as soon as this person speaks up and learn the lesson, that's when the blessing come in. Because that's our life. It's just full of lessons. This karma was a lesson. As soon as they close out the cycle and learn the lesson, they get a blessing. Who do they, who do they get? Aquarius. That's what they get. They get Aquarius. But your person, I don't know if they see that shit yet. There's still some confusion going on. So it ain't that for you to do, Aquarius. Just keep doing it. Just keep mobbing. You hear me? Keep going after your passion. The spirit's going to keep blessing you. And one day after blue, after that tower hit for real, for real, his ass coming to you or her ass is coming to you. Okay? It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. It's what I have for y'all. Till next time.